Hey guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video and today we're going to be looking at some hidden images throughout Clash of Clans. Now whether or not they were put there on purpose, it's going to be up for you to decide. I don't think they were. Um, but yeah, I want you guys to try to use your imagination for this one and if you guys see any images I don't see or don't mention in the video, feel free to send them to me at my Twitter and I will retweet them so a whole bunch of the Clash community can see. But guys, let's get started and let's have some fun. Alright guys, so here we are on the single player map. This is where I looked first. I looked all around, I looked on the, every every place I could find, and I found a couple images. There are actually a whole bunch of them, I'm just going to point out the ones that stood out to me the most. So starting off guys, this is the most interesting one to me. We're going to scroll up here and I wonder if you guys can see anything. If not, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to give you a couple seconds. Did you guys see it? Well if not, let me help you out. So on the image on the left, we have the one we are looking at. Starting at the top, you can kind of see the head right below that on the rocks you can see the nipples that match up with the pekka and it looks like a pekka is laid out and stretched out and its arms are covered by rocks and its swords are poking out of the sides and if you look at the grass blades on top of the head it kind of looks like the horns of the pekka which is really really interesting and below this whole little outfit it has its feet down there together i didn't draw that on paint because i didn't really notice it until after but it is a really cool thought to think that they put this there on purpose. I talked to Daddy about this to make sure I wasn't crazy, and he told me Supercell mirrored the graphics of the map, so I think this is just coincidence. However, it is still really cool to see, and it is a really creepy resemblance to the actual P.E.K.K.A., and a really interesting thought. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one, guys. All right, so here we are again once more on the single player map. Now we're gonna focus on this area in particular and let me show you what I see. We got the one, the only, DJ Mini. Now this looks like a minion with its wings down on the turntables and that's what I see when I look at this image and that's what I'm always gonna see. It even looks like he has stuff coming out of his ears um, which is pretty hilarious but Funny image that I saw, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one, guys. All right, guys, and for our next image, we have the sloth. I'm not sure if you guys can see that face right there. I'm gonna circle it for you and uh, point it out to you, but it is really cute, and I like it a lot, and it has ears, too, which is weird for a sloth. There it is, guys. I circled it for you. Um, so you can see it you kind of have to look at the arc and then look right above the arc in the center And you will see its nose with its two eyes on the side a little bit lower than that um, Unfortunately, it does not look like Sid from Ice Age, which I was hoping for it to look like it just looks like a normal sloth with its head up a little bit But still pretty cool, and I hope every time you guys see this now you think of a sloth So we are back to the multiplayer map, and I'm going to take you to the top This is one of the more known ones at the top you can see here we have a wolf. I kind of think it looks like a cheetah up at the top. I'm going to highlight it so you guys can see it a little bit more. As you can see it's got the cute little eyes, the nose, and a little smile going on as well as the fangs, but it's pretty cool. Okay guys, here's the next one. This one is kind of different because it's walls, I know, um, but this is part of the Supercell Hidden War Base. Um, I, I was rebuilding it, messing around with it. I saw this, it kind of looks like a cat. So this is just a little interesting thing. This is on the ground by itself without the walls. I just added the walls to give it more effect so you guys could see it more clearly. Um, but there's a cute little cat that lies on the ground and here are the walls for it so you can see it. All right guys, so we're back to home base. There are so many more images I could have shown you. Um, however, I do want to continue this as a series. Um, so this is going to be episode number one. Um, if you guys had trouble seeing the images, remember a lot of this is perception and you have to look at it um, You have to look at it for a while to probably see the ones I'm seeing and I completely understand if you guys don't see it There is an image though if you guys find it I'm gonna give you guys $20 worth of iTunes gift cards to the person who finds it um, I want to see a picture posted to me on my Twitter of an old man kissing an old woman on the forehead and whoever can do that will win $20 worth of iTunes gift cards from me um, first person to do it I'll put my link to the Twitter down in the comments down below or down in the description down below um, but yeah guys let me know what you thought about the video let's see if we can hit 1,000 likes and you guys like comment subscribe and take it easy